Hello, thank you so much for joining me. As ever, I really, really do appreciate it. And I like to intersperse the taking your places walking with little bits of talking about topics, occasional rant. As I said in my introduction to my channel, goodness me, nearly 500 vlogs ago, I think. Um, up to about 460, 470, I think. Hey, dear me. Um, <laughs> I like to mix and match. What I will do is I will go to somewhere as I went to Beeston Castle and I'll make several recordings at that location because I'm very much aware these days of taking care with the amount of fuel I use and so the ones that I make from home are the ones that I make just walking locally. I will intersperse with, with the ones that are slightly further away and I very often get them out of order um, so apologies for that if you think what's she going on about when I'm assuming when I'm making the recording as I'm making it after a previous one that it will be correctly posted in sequence oh. <laughs> I like to keep you on your toes so what do I want to talk about? Well, memory and memories. Um, my memory isn't very good. Yes, I can remember the minutiae, the inconsequential things. But when it comes to learning facts, no, <laughs> no. Um, how I remember as a teenager, going for my O levels as they were then and then my A levels I would study up in my bedroom and my mum would come up sit on the little stool that I've actually still got um, and test me and it always used to end up with giggles because my mum didn't know the tech some of the technical words and her mispronunciations Actually, it meant that such stuff used to stick. And I, at one point, decided I was going to do um, an A-level that I hadn't done for ages, years and years and years. I was going to do one on child psychology. No problem. So, attended the course, did all the written work, fine, no problems. And then it came to revising for the exam. Same problem. <laughs> Could not remember it. So I went through the routine of learning one topic in one room, one situation. And when it came down to me sitting in the downstairs loo revising a certain bit, I thought, this takes the, uh, the biscuit, doesn't it? Um, came the exam. No, it wasn't there. I did pass, but that was on prior knowledge and a bit of waffle as well. But people who have dementia, Alzheimer's, they lose a lot of recent and then slightly further back memories. They can very often remember things from many years ago and they can remember things like playing the piano but I wonder if that's the the muscle memory that helps them there because that's not being affected by the brain I don't know but they can sit and play without any music a complex piece of music um, and the same with dancers they can go through a dance routine so I wonder if muscle memory does have anything to, to do with it. But if you have a parent, a friend, a partner who is struggling with Alzheimer's or dementia, B, 
build in a healthy dose of patience. And if you are a son or a daughter with a parent, I was going to say, remember, imagine how it was when you were younger. Imagine if you've got children of your own, you know what it's like with, but well, why, but why, but why, mummy, why, daddy, what's going on? Repeated and repeated. And if you are a halfway decent parent, you gently repeat the answers without, I've told you that, which stops the querying. So think when the roles are reversed and it's your parent who is repeating things, have some patience with them as they had with you and listen and then encourage them to talk about the things that they remember because otherwise it's hurtful. And I, I remember some years ago now that I was sitting at a table with uh, one person similar age to me, but mostly younger people. And I started telling a story of something, no idea what, and it doesn't really matter. And across the table, I had a hand held, stop you've told that story already i know that story and it took every ounce of strength that i had not to pick up my plate take it away from the table and go and sit somewhere else to eat my meal maybe i should have done but i didn't want to show up the person who had held up the hand as i felt they had shown me up by holding up the hand but on reflection, it was actually showing them up more than me. We all forget things. I forget if I've told you things. <laughs> you probably think, oh, that old bird's rabbiting on again. In which case, apologies, do be patient. And on that note, thank you for joining me out in the summer house. And as I've got my wellies on, I think I'm going to go for a walk. Take care. Take the very best care of yourself that you can. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.